It came from... That's right. It came from Reddit. This is the part of the show where we search all over the internet to bring you topics the community is talking about. Any uh, topic is fair game as long as it relates to the field of, you guessed it, human factors. This is uh, from Caters on the user experience subreddit. What would you say to a company that doesn't like the fact that you have a side business? Uh, I was interviewing with a company this morning and I mentioned the fact that I have a side business as well. The head of design stated ask, or started asking me lots of questions about it. At first, I thought she was just interested in my business, but then she went like, quote, I can see you, you're very enthusiastic about this project. I don't understand why you would want to work with us then. Uh, duh, of course I'm enthusiastic about it. It's my side business. I explained her that I only work on my side business during my free time and that it's actually not my full-time gig. And she said, quote, well, I personally work a lot in this company. I wouldn't have the time to handle a side business. And so I told her, sure. Uh, but I'm assuming you work Monday to Friday, right? And she said, yes. And I was like, good. Okay, this is... <laughs> <laughs> this, this is, is a conversation a story. <laughs> good, so you're free on the weekends. That's when I would work on my side business for a few hours. She didn't know what to say and laughed it off. Uh, to be honest, she mentioned the fact that uh, she works in the evenings as most of the times, uh, which is probably a big red flag. So I think I might ditch this company anyway. But my question is, why does she react that way? Maybe because she thinks I'm not going to put 100% into their business, uh, even though I told her countless times that I only work on my side business during my free time. I've talked about my side businesses to lots of other companies, um, and they were all very happy about it. They always asked me interesting questions, and they were also very happy about the fact that I was so enthusiastic about building products. I actually think it has been one of my strongest selling points when interviewing with companies. Uh, creating and handling a business requires a lot of skills that most designers or human factors practitioners don't have. It also shows that you're always working on something interesting and that you like putting yourself in challenging situations. I was about to say to her, but I didn't. Look, it seems like this is a cause of concern for you. If me having a business is a problem, maybe I'm not the right fit for this job and you should hire someone who doesn't do anything else besides working for you. Blake, do you have a side gig? And how does your employer react to it? And what would you do in this case? Yeah, so this is really a cool one. And I'm, I'm glad the narrative's in here too. Uh, because it, although this was not the question, right? This goes back to being really cognizant of who you are and what you like to do and not being able, not being afraid to kind of show that off in interviews. Because I think this tactic of talking about the side business actually told you that you don't want to work for this company because of the reaction and you on a side note for your side business learned a little bit about the company culture and the fact that somebody told you one thing but wasn't honest in the first round of how often do they work do they work monday through friday do they work a normal schedule you found out a lot from just this one thing that's all about you um so that the side business thing can be hard right so you have to be willing to have a conversation about it. If it ends up in something like this, where it puts you in an awkward situation, I don't think I would have tackled it the way that you, it, and I'm actually, I'm glad that you tackled it the way you did. I don't think I would have gone as far to say, like, I don't know that I'm the right fit for somebody that only works for this company. I would have just said, you know, if this is concerning, we should have a conversation further about it. If I'm a likely candidate or something like that. But ultimately if the company's not willing to have a conversation or understand what you're doing and the hours that you're doing it, then you you probably just don't want to be there. Um, ultimately, for me, uh, teaching was much more of my passion, and I kind of I knew that before I ever got into human factors, and it's just something I never pursued. So I fell into actually getting two jobs at once by accident. I didn't mean to be working two jobs at the same time. I applied for one and then got an offer for another, and they just coincided. Um, the Basically, the way that I handled it is I just made the company aware before I came in that, hey, I have this job. I know there are other people at the company that have similar positions. Um, these are the hours that are associated with it. And if it's a problem, we need to have the discussion now before everything gets started and I'm wrangled into projects and I'm doing the work for you. Um, it also has come up with the podcast a couple times about like, what is this? What is this thing? Are you earning revenue from it? All these kind of other conversations that you have to have around side things that you do. Um, so it's just one of those kind of opportunities for you to talk to somebody else about why you're doing what you're doing, 
and kind of letting others know that it it's a fulfilling part of your life. And so being able to have that conversation with your employer is a good thing and something you want to be able to do. If you start feeling like you're running into hey, we just can't have you working a side job, then maybe it's time to consider which one you prefer to do more um, and find another job that allows you to have the side job or, you know, turn what you're doing into a full-time gig. Uh, but yeah, so Nick, what's your kind of experience in this realm for having a side business? Yeah. So I wouldn't call the podcast a side business. I would call it a side project that I put a lot of time and effort into. And um, while we are collecting donations through Patreon, thank you. Um, you know, it, we're not taking home any of that money. It's getting all put right back into the show for now. Right. We might actually use some of that to go to conferences someday. Um, and that's when it's going to be a little bit more tricky to navigate in, in terms of an employer. How, however, I will say from my perspective, I've had employers that both appreciate what I do in this side project, um, and I've gotten a slap on the wrist for it and in, in the same uh, in the same company even. So it's like you just have to communicate that you are engaging in this uh, other opportunity here. Um, I think Blake is right. I think by explaining the situation, by explaining that you have a side business and that your line in the sand is kind of an eight to five job where you know you're not um you're not planning to work nights and weekends every you know like what's the work life balance like we talked about with the other uh question here you know with with the first one that we had with the single mother um what's the work life balance and if they don't appreciate that you are working on a side business uh then it might be a good sign that <laughs> you should not uh entertain that idea as a potential employer um you know for me it's like a lot of it's just not understanding what it is that you're doing on the side business. And so the better you can communicate that, right. That's when I had the slap on the wrist. It was like, Hey, you're doing this thing without letting us know. Okay. Now that we know that's actually kind of cool. Uh, just, you know, don't no company secrets, obviously. Um, so, you know, and then now like I have employers that are, uh, very much like, Oh, this is really cool. Let's promote it within the company. And so there, there it's, it's a gamut, right? And I think yeah. the most important thing is to communicate, uh, which it sounds like you're doing just fine. Um, and then also, you know, using that uh, reaction or like, like you've described, there are some companies that think it's awesome that you can deliver these products as a separate business. Um, and, you know, those those are the ones that you want to look at personally, I think, is the ones yeah. that are going to let you do the things that you want to do on the side. Anything else to add to that, Blake? No, I think we've kind of covered it. The other option there to that'll help you have that conversation, which I have I've had in interviews, is putting your side business and side project stuff in your resume in a highlighted yeah. way. Uh, because that actually ends up sparking more interesting conversations sometimes than just like maybe the the traditional stuff that you do. Um, and it can be actually really good for, you know, just a talking point uh, for an interview. I agree.